bitch. Oh, yeah. Do you have it? Do you have it, Reggie? Do you have the blood fever? <laughs> <laughs> what is Man. going on? Holy shit. Doing, What's going on? The brother from another mother, Radical Reggie, up in the house. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I don't know how I have not seen this. I, I'm I'm befuffled. Is that is that a word the the youth still use today? Is is that is that is that is that an old person's word? It, it, it may be, but you know, um, <laughs> I I found this movie by chance myself, man. I was very lucky to actually find it uh, years ago, and yeah, I thought it was I, it was something else. <laughs> so, so how long how long ago how long ago did you see this? Did you see this when it did premiere on the Sci Fi Channel? No, I saw it when it premiered on USA. Uh, USA was okay. playing it during the day. And I think All this right. was back in 96, 97, maybe even 98. Okay. And I was just chilling. No, this is even before I had my PlayStation. So, yeah, I was just chilling. And it came on TV, and I and I happened to watch it, and it did something to make me laugh. It was it was the acting. Right, right. Yeah, right. they were trying to be serious, <laughs> but they did. I was like, what is this? And I was just from that point on. It was, it was great. <laughs> Oh man, but uh, you know when I when you told me when you recommended this that we check out and talk about it, mm -hmm. um, I started looking it up and I, I, I saw the trailer and I was like, okay, this kind of looks familiar a little. And I saw the poster, I was like, okay. And then I was just like, okay, I kind of remember the Sci Fi Channel played the movie, but I still never seen it. So this is like Samurai Guy's first time uh, seeing Mosquito. That's right. Let's go ahead and talk about it, mm -hmm. and we'll decide at the end is it really that bad. That's right. Well, you know Reggie loves it. Well, will Samurai Guy love it? We'll find out. We'll find it here. So, uh, some say it came out in 1994, and some say 1995, so it's kind of back and forth. It might have uh, had it like a premiere, maybe. In right, yeah. Probably, yeah. Uh, it's directed by Gary Jones, starring, that's right, Leatherface himself, motherfucking Gunnar Hansen, that's right, and many others. Yes, mm -hmm. many others. Plot synopsis. A violent massacre caused by human-sized mosquitoes forces the lone survivors to band together in a fight for survival as the mosquitoes continue their onslaught. Yes. <laughs> That's right. So before we get into it a little bit, let's say what's up to the movie dojo army showing up. Who we got here? Certified badasses already here representing AJ Mason in the house. What's going on, brother? All right, AJ's we got, here. We got Mike Swift. We got Omniblast in the house, Pro, Profan, Prof Anthrax, <laughs> Professor Anthrax, all right, in the house, Brandon Lewis in the house, Jake Hall, all right, who else we got? We got Flix, what's up, Derek? We got Brandon Lewis in the house, Daikatana, oh shit, Will Thorburn, who else we got? Nate Dogs and Todd Johnson in the house, what's going on? Big Todd in the house, and... Nikita Percy was cracking. All right. Got to say what's up to everybody watching and hanging out with us today. So so when you first watched this, it brought you joy because you thought they were being serious. Yeah, it was it was okay. it was it was great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when I watched this, <clears throat> excuse me. When I watched this, the vibe I got right away was, okay, I see what they're trying to do. This is kind of an homage, in a way, to the old 50s giant monster flicks, like movies like Them, where you have giant ants and stuff like that. I was like, mm -hmm. okay. I thought the... Uh, it was funny that we both <laughs> interpreted it, the acting differently. We, we both were entertained. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, so the bad acting's on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I think, I think that's what they were doing there. All right, all right. Uh, especially this guy's... I mean, everyone's acting kind of has that B movie acting vibe to it, but mm -hmm. but especially some of the dialogue too, which we'll get to. But this guy, um, uh, Ranger, I'm find, trying to find him here. This guy right here, just all you gotta do is look at this dude. Oh, Hendrix, yep, <laughs> Hendrix. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this guy was just his acting really was like the one that stood out the most to me mm -hmm. in here because he was just like. What do you mean we got to save the world? <laughs> like, we should be trying to get away and we should hide. I was like, oh boy, 
All right. He was like he was so, like the most logical person in the group to me. Like he's one to I get know, out of right? here, you know. <laughs> I know. But Reggie, the way he was talking throughout this whole movie, I was just like, oh boy, someone's really having fun. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell. Here. The only guy that was, I thought, that was really trying to seriously act was the guy that played his parks, because uh, he acted like he was a meteorologist. And um, yeah, the stuff he was saying, like, "You are listening to science fact or something." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> no, he, no he's, the guy like that. was like, the guy was like uh, disagreeing with his theory, I think. Mm -hmm. And he's like, "He's like, what is the science fiction man?" And then that's when, that's when, uh, what's his name again? Uh, parks. Parks. Yeah. That's when Parks was like. You know, well, if that you can believe what you want, but right now you're living in science fact or something. Like that. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> yeah, the I, I, the, the, yeah, the delivery, the dialogue. I'm sure script and everything was put together uh, as an homage to uh, uh, the, the giant monster movies uh, mm -hmm. from from the you know the B films from the fifties. Yeah. I mean, obviously you could tell that's the kind of the tone they were going for. Here's the thing, though, Reg. Here's the thing. There's a lot of movies like this. Mm -hmm. There are thousands of giant monster bug movies or movies that you could see, well, maybe they're trying to homage the giant monster flicks from the 50s and 60s, right? Mm -hmm. But they fail. Yeah. Like, I've seen hundreds of these types of movies, and a lot of them fucking suck. <laughs> I have a right. recommendation at the end for you. Reggie, that's right. Your turn. As we don't have. As, as we don't have to do... that... Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. As long as it's not it's not the movie The Tick. No, <laughs> the Tick. You know what I'm <laughs> Yeah, Alfonso mean, Rivera. Al... Was it was it Ticks? I think it was Ticks or something like that. Alfonso, okay, okay. Rivera... Alfonso well... from uh, Fresh Prince was in it, and he. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, I have a I have a good one. I have a good recommendation. Okay. Uh, but there's a lot of these giant spider and giant, you know, uh, monster well, movies. Eight Legged Freaks I thought was fun. That was that a was fun, fun. Yeah, that was fun. That was a good so one. So it could it could be done right. You know, let's 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 kind of well, homage the giant here, monster movies, but still make it entertaining. But yeah, go ahead. Here's the thing, though. Like for those movies to work well, uh, I mean, if it has bad effects, bad acting in it. It has to have good characters and the people you like, people you relate to, or whatnot. Right. I think right, Mosquito right. actually has likable characters. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's what sucked me into it. I thought um, I was gonna hate this guy uh, from the very beginning, but he was actually kind of making me laugh. Right. Right. <laughs> later in the movie, so. Mm -hmm. But no, that's a really good point. That's a great yeah. point. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say right now, you know, like I was saying a couple of minutes ago, a lot of these movies fail and they're terrible, and you want to kill yourself. This movie, I was busting up, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say it right now. I had a I had a really good time watching Mosquito, brother. Yeah. Like I got I got what they were trying to do. Uh, director Gary Jones, you know, he actually did some uh, some uh, um, makeup and art, uh, which called practical effects work for Evil Dead Two. He was oh. part of the whole group that you know, and some other films as well. But uh, yeah, how did you is, feel? Oh, go ahead. How'd you feel when Gunnar Hansen picked up that chainsaw? Did you, like, did you feel the nostalgia? Oh, we we gonna we gonna uh, we gonna get to it. Oh, hold okay. on a second. Here, wait a minute. Hold on. I think I see someone posted it in chat. Hold on. Where is it? <clears throat> oh man. Science fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lava Lanchula. Sexy Subo is like everyone's putting their uh, their B movie recommendations. Uh, oh, here we go. This is a good example of this kind of genre done wrong. You, I, I dare you. I dare you to watch Killer Hornets, Reggie. I dare you to watch it and, and, and make it through the whole film. <laughs> but Did this, you get through it? this, huh? Did you get through it? Oh, I've, I can get, I, it's been a while since Samurai Guys turned off a movie. Okay. I've I've been, I've seen so many horrible movies, <laughs> and I'm not talking about what the casuals think are bad. Right. I'm not talking about like you don't know, son, out there. Like name your name a bad movie that you were just I couldn't even finish it. It was terrible. And some people will say, oh, Waterworld, or they'll say something like that. Right. I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't know what's bad. Mm -hmm. Try Manos, the Hands of Fate, and then get back to me. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Try that movie. Yeah, that's bad. 
Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, so there's people out there, the casuals, they don't know what's really bad. Mm-hmm. There's worse. You got B movie and then you got Z movie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, you know, I think this movie works, man. Like, definitely for what, for the low budget it had, it was, it was low budget, man. Like 200,000 yeah. or it? maybe a little bit more. That's it. Maybe close to three hundred thousand. That's all. That's all this. You know, this was. Wow. Um, but uh, what what made me smile? Not just because it was funny and I enjoyed the carnage, but what made me enjoy this movie and made me smile was, you can tell, because of the small budget, they tried every trick in the book to make the movie work. Like you could see the effort. Mm-hmm. They used practical effects. We had digital digital effects. Mm-hmm. We had models being used. We had yep. stop motion animation being used. We had hand drawn animation. I mean, every little thing they could throw in there to make the movie work. Stuff like that makes me smile, man. You yeah. know, it shows uh, you they yeah. care. Yeah, like they're trying. Yeah, De- definitely. Night of the Lepus. Oh my God, have you seen that, Reggie? <laughs> no, I I I, I know, what know it's about, about it. the rabbits. And I was like, dude, yeah. no way I can watch yeah. that. The rabbits like that just yeah. hop around. <laughs> yeah but yeah let's let's talk about mosquito man but yeah you know i didn't mean to jump the gun but yeah. i had a blast watching it man it was entertaining it's probably one yeah. of the best b movies i watched in a long time but yeah so right here in the beginning we had some fun uh models and spaceship effects definitely mm-hmm. to, to, to show the opening kind of remind me of predator a little bit <laughs> we had the ship you go fly by and a little pod comes out of it and lands on earth, you know, uh, doesn't go, doesn't bode well for that alien that was trying to come to earth for a vacation. Uh, mm-hmm. it didn't work out. He ended up crashing and then a mosquito, uh, lands on the dead arm laying out of the ship and uh, gets to sucking. That's right. And, uh, that's it. Mosquitoes yeah. starting to mutate son. And we have our mosquitoes. But what's funny though, is right after the sucking, literally the very next scene, you got a giant mosquito flying by and getting hit by a car. <laughs> like I, I was waiting for like a slow buildup. Right, right. They, like, they jump like, right into it. Like just, I was like, oh my god! And here we're introduced to our characters here. That's right. They ended up accidentally running over the. Okay, Ray and Megan. There yep. you go. There you go. You're helping me out. Thank you, Reggie. Thank you. Oh yeah. I'm no horrible. Problem. I'm horrible with names. Ray is like the, the kind of like the the tough guy boyfriend. He's mm-hmm. not a bad character. He's cool, but just or yeah, that's how they kind of portray him in the movie. Yeah, he's he's sometimes a, a little bit of a dick, but but he's he has a good he's he's a dick with he, a good heart. Well, he's actually pretty funny. So there was one part in the movie where uh, they go to the cabin and it's all busted up, and she's and the, and he's like, so this is where you want to work because she's trying to get a job there, and it's all like nasty looking. It is that, that joke was kind of funny to me because the way he looked when he said it to her, it's like it's pretty hilarious. So he knows when to throw in a joke here and there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm reading the comments over here. Somebody read Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, Return mm-hmm. of the Killer Tomatoes. Have you seen Return? Uh uh-uh. uh Watch Return. You might actually. It's funny, dude. Really? You got a young George Clooney in it. It's funny, dude. It's really. It's actually funny. Yeah, check that. Check out Return at least. But no, you definitely brought it up. He is a fun character, even though he's like. But I was like, I was kind of agreeing with him actually at first because she's like, hey. Because she's kind of an expert. You know, he's taking her to a brand new job in the park. Mm-hmm. You know, she's a new ranger and she's kind of an insect, in, uh, uh, excuse me, expert. And she's like, wow, this is a new find. This <laughs> this bug shouldn't be this huge. We should, <laughs> hey, let's wrap it up and throw it in your trunk and take what? it. Out. He's yeah, like, I know, right? <laughs> he's like, what? <laughs> yeah, we're going to just look, wrap up a giant insect and just throw it in the trunk. Yeah, yeah, it'll, 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 it'll be great. Uh, but yeah, so we get, <laughs> we get to the, uh, <laughs> to the park. I kind of wanted, I, you know, the chief, once the chief of the park, you know, our, our boy Hendrix's boss, right? Uh-huh. Yep. Once he's introduced, I was the, my only nitpick. One thing I was disappointed about the movie was I wanted to see his death. That was the only, you saw the aftermath, which is still cool. Right. You know, everything sucked out. Uh, but I wanted to see his death because he seemed like he had a vendetta. Yeah. against the mosquitoes <laughs> it was like quint and and, a sh- and jaws you know what i'm saying like he had like you know it was just like you know he's telling hendrix to go out there and and kill all the mosquitoes and spray so that the you know 
all the people camping won't get bit hey, you look because at that. they visit you in the night. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. When you're asleep at night, they come to go sucking. You know, it's, he had really like, he was like, you know, what is it? Blood really? fever, mm -hmm. which was the, actually one of the original titles for this movie. Yes. Which is actually kind of not bad, actually, but I wanted to see him get it, but it's, it's fine. Let's nitpick, but yeah, go ahead. Um, the item he's holding right there, I mean, I'm, I'm wondering if that would really take care of those small mosquitoes, you know, that he's going, he think he's going after, you know, it's pretty hilarious. And he, he, look how he looks right there. He's like, he's like feeling real tough and everything like that. He's going out and it's just like, <laughs> oh my God, Hendrix is something else, man. You guys have to see his character. And the chief's like, you're my, you're, you're my toughest lieutenant, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I need you to go out there. And kill it, all the mosquitoes. It was kind of like reminiscent to the Batman scene between Jack Nicholson and Bob when he was pumping <laughs> up Bob to go, you're my number one guy. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Now that, not, it's perfect, right? Now that you mentioned that, that, that is true. Remember, <laughs> you are my number one. You know what's funny? It always sounds like he says this. Remember, you are my number one. And I. It always sounds like he says, and I, but he says guy for some reason. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty funny, man. That's kind of true. It, it, it does remind me of that scene. Uh, but yeah, the chief doesn't make it. But here's the thing, man. The, the actual practical effects and the design of the mosquitoes are actually pretty good, dude. Yeah. Like, they're actually legit. I love the, uh, I forgot the, the, the name, the, 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 the female expert. Uh, insect expert gave the their attack sucking mechanisms here. I forgot. We're just gonna it's call them the. Uh, it was definitely something hard, hard to pronounce. So. Yeah, it was, yeah. was some funky. It was something funky. But yeah, the the, the stuff the motherfuckers use to stab and eat and suck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing was actually kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, here we go again with uh, you know a little bit of stop motion being used mm -hmm. and practical effects, and uh, they actually put in. Um, uh, what you gonna call it? The wings did flap on their own. They did spin <laughs> for the actual practical effects okay. uh, versions of those. Yeah, they had mechanics and you know a little engine inside. They kept it going, so the wings could actually spin, which That's I thought cool. was kind of cool. Yeah, I found out behind the scenes here. But we got another little side plot going on. Uh, we have. Uh, Gunner Hansen and friends who just, <laughs> he just, well, they just rob a bank, right? <clears throat> he robbed the bank. They're on the run. Yeah, they're on the run with their uh, their cousins and everything like that. Uh, brother, yeah. cousin. I, got, I I forget, but I just remember there's one line in the movie that he says, like, uh, because the, the, the cousin and the brother, they're kind of dumb. And uh, he asked them a question and they said something goofy. And he's like, ugh. This is what happens when you mix family bloodlines. I just started <laughs> laughing too because it was like this. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was funny, man. I was like, Gun Gunner Hansen got jokes up in here. Yeah, he did. Dude, was that rolling. was hilarious. So one of the one of the cousins goes to take a shit, and uh, this homie shows up. He's like, "Ooh, easy prey," mm -hmm. and uh, it doesn't go well for the cousin. That's right. <laughs> I mean, look at the look at that effect right there, man. Like that's yeah. not bad for 1994. Yeah, you know, and with like with a low budget, that's actually not that bad. Mm -hmm. Now, some digital effects, uh, you know, some of it doesn't age well, right. but it, I don't know. It just kind of like the whole ensemble piece of everything being used. Mm -hmm. You know, it just kind of works for me. You yeah. know, and the cheese is the charm with this one. I think that's why it works. I mean, come on, that one guy's acting. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he gets ch the cousin gets chased down, and you know, Gunnar Hansen's like, "No, nah, man, I'm whipping up the fucking shotgun, going to yep. blast the motherfucker." And uh, what what makes it fun? Look at that! Boom! <laughs> that's right. Blow it up! That's right, baby. What makes this movie fun is you get a lot of this. You get a lot of real practical effect mm -hmm. uh, effects creature designs actually exploding on camera yeah which makes it fun mm -hmm. because when it's when say for example a movie nowadays right it would be like if it was a really low budget it'd be like really eye straining bad you know bad cgi creature right. flying around mm -hmm. and then when they're firing at that the whole entire movie you kind of gets old and you kind of just get tired of it 
You know what I'm saying? So you feel but, like like my them using all these different effects made it easier to kind of watch the movie because it was it wasn't the same thing over and over again, which would have kind of would have been like straining yeah. after a while, maybe. That and it's nice when things are motherfucking real. You know, like <laughs> real, <laughs> we're blowing up real <laughs> props. Yeah. You know, it's you know you ever see Birdemic? Mm-mm. Yeah, Birdemic's bad. It's. It's not Manos the Hands of Fate bad, but it's on it's on it's on it's on it's on its, it's way on, there. It's on the Knight of the Lepus level, kinda, maybe. Oh worse. 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 But it looks like somebody took Mario paint and made a, a, a bird like this and just animated it to just flap. Mm-hmm. And that's it. <laughs> so this is all you get is this hovering over the characters, and then you have the characters like swiping, get, grabbing hangers. And they're like swiping at nothing. But oh my God. Now, no. the first time we saw that, we were laughing our asses off. But like towards the middle of the movie, I'm like, oh, they're still using the same animation <laughs> and the same birds. Okay, okay, this is starting to get painful now. Wow. We did finish it, but uh, it's pretty painful. But yeah, it's nice too. Okay, we're going to have some, some stop motion effects. You know, we're going to have some digital effects. But then we're going to have real shit blowing the fuck up mm-hmm. was, was nice. You know, I en- I really enjoyed that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how. Believe me, I was not. I, I know Birdemic too. I know there is a B- Birdemic too. By the way, um, <laughs> I don't know how. I was not looking for this photo, but I'm going to show it because all the naughty bits have been covered. Uh, okay. But yeah. So what did you think about this scene, Reggie? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, all the naughty bits are covered. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, they did a good the, job the, uh, <laughs> of that, you know, because, um, I mean, yeah, wow. <laughs> they did a good job of that scene. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have shown it, but, that uh, but scene yeah. scene is so hilarious because um, she's obviously with her boyfriend. He goes out to take a leak, and, um, you know, the mosquito comes in there, and it reminds me of the, of the, of the scene when Evil did. Yeah, I thought the, that was going to happen. Yeah, exactly. I, you think that's going to happen. Thankfully, yeah. it didn't. Um, but it's, it's just, yeah, you just think that, if, especially if you've seen Evil Dead. You're like, uh-oh, is this about to happen? I was like, oh, we're going to have the tree scene up in here. <laughs> but uh, no, that doesn't happen. I'm surprised that didn't happen. But he went straight for the meat, bro. Yeah. He, he, went, straight for the, he went straight for the booty. Yep. <laughs> it was funny here. The boyfriend came back, and it, he saw her getting attacked. He yeah. about to go in, and then he stopped. I was like, I mean, when he saw what was in there with him, he's like, I don't know if she's worth it, pretty much. He's like, <laughs> they turned around. And then more mosquitoes are coming. He just stood there, of course. It was just like that was the end of the scene. But it was just pretty funny, you know. But I was just like, wow, my kind of mosquito. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> he, liked the, he, likes, he likes the junk in the trunk. All right. Uh, but, yeah, you get some definitely you get some fun kills. Uh, you got our uh, the, the two fishermen here. Woo. He gets stabbed right in the chest. And yeah. uh, the rest catch up with them and they they all grub like it's buffet however uh one of the best kills in the movie is this one man oh wow dude this right was fucking wall. great Scramble yeah, talk eggs. about this one Woo-hoo. right in the eye uh i vaguely remember this scene um but i remember it was like when i saw it i was like dude like I think I actually said the same line I just said now, scrambled eggs, pretty much, because you know, <laughs> it's the brain and everything like that. Um, but that See, was that's what, yeah. That was before the whole attack had happened. Um, that was just showing a couple of mosquitoes before the, they took over. They kind of like took everybody out in the camp, the, the two yeah. fishermen and everything like that. And uh, yeah. they, they didn't see it. Co- well, get it? They didn't see it coming because yeah, wow. I just I accidentally threw a pun in there, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a funny, it's just kind of crazy, but yeah, that was what the worst death too. And then when the guy yeah. got stabbed in the eye, he was like still alive somehow, like he was like yelling yeah. and stuff. So I was like, "Whoa, what the heck!" Dude? But it was the, the 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 special effects, the practical effects was dope because he got impaled right in the eye, and then man, it just starts sucking the fluids and everything right mm-hmm. out. Right I was like, eyeball. "Yo, all right, I'm on board, man." See, he didn't let him finish his beer. I know, I, I know, bastards. But I'm, I was like on board in terms of B movie entertainment because what's the most important thing if you're watching a, a even if it, well, more so B film than regular film, but mm-hmm. um, you don't want to be bored. Right. That's the most important thing. If you're going to have a B movie that has 
B movie acting and not really the greatest plot or effects. Mm -hmm. it's still got to be entertaining in some way to where right. we love it and we watch it, right? right? And that's what I liked about this movie. Like it like did not waste time. Mm -mm. You know, there wasn't there this long like you know, sometimes it takes like what, 30 minutes, 40 mm -hmm. minutes and then we finally see the creatures invade or whatever. Right. You know, we have to have the whole scientific build up to show how they became, right? Mm -hmm. No, man. I don't know what was this like 20 minutes in the movie? <laughs> like yeah. it wasn't that long. They they jumped in it. No yeah. doubt about it. And that's yeah. a, like I said it's a good thing. They introduced you to the characters and they yeah. went from there. And once they all yeah. got together, boom. Yeah, man. But uh definitely. But we have our our characters here. Okay. So that's Go Ray ahead. in the middle and that's okay. Parks on the right and then there's <clears> Meg <throat> uh which is becoming the Park Ranger, but obviously she comes to her job and you see the blood splatter on the blinds there. There's been some kind of massacre. And this is where that line comes in, like, before they meet Parks, I think. Or, no, he's there, actually, with them. Well, Ray looks at his girlfriend and says, so this is where you want to work? And it just it just works so well when he says it on that stick. It's, it's hilarious because there's, like... Yeah. And she looked at him like, you mother... <laughs> 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 but, yeah, uh, the chief... Uh, this is the chief's office where they found his body, I believe. Yeah. And all the power's down. You know, there's no one they can call. And the whole campsite is just destroyed. Like yeah, it's nothing. Apart. Everyone got wiped out. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody got wiped out basically. Uh, and so basically, they they, they end up finding um, he was hiding underneath a a boat. What was it? What was he hiding? It was like a little <laughs> yeah, some kind of canoe or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then they team up with the uh, the badass. Look at this guy! He screams badassity, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> they uh, team up with this dude, and then that's our characters, and they end up upgrading to an RV. Yes, this yeah. is where the movie like makes it, its action turn because, um, dude, this is they, this might be my favorite scene in the movie. But yeah, go yeah, ahead. oh, definitely. So when the when they get they all get to the RV and everything like that, um, <laughs> they notice that they got. I think if I'm hopefully I'm I'm, I'm positioning it right with the, how the sequences happen, but I remember. It started getting dark. They knew they had to get out of there before it got dark because mosquitoes come out at night and everything like That's that. Right. So, so there was this tension of them getting out of there. And I remember how fast it got dark when it was like dark. Like it was like it was like it, the scene was how it got fat, like dark so fast as a trip. You're like, what the heck? They just, <laughs> it was just light outside. How did it get dark this fast? Yeah. And um, I think from that part they meet up with a uh, um Earl and Junior, and they, they they're hitchhikers, but they actually try to rob them, and then they right. get into the scuffle. And um, <laughs> oh my God, it's hilarious! And they end up when they like not get like getting upper hand and everything, but they didn't want to leave him out there to get killed, so they took Earl and and and, and his brother Junior in there with them. So yeah. as they got in the car, the mosquitoes start chasing them, and there's this big action scene, and it's like it's like crazy. And it and what's funny is that they're all still fighting inside the car because uh, Earl, you know, wants to get the money and he wants to go back the other way where the mosquitoes came from for for I forgot what reason and everything like that, sir. So they're dealing with driving for, away from the mosquitoes, and then they're fighting in the middle in the in the RV and like in this yeah. like the scuffle. It's it's, a, it's an insane scene, and it works really well. Um, I, I liked how it played out, and it's, some scenes in it were hilarious. Like there was a scene where, of course, they got the upper hand. They tied Ray and his brother up, but then there's the part where um, I think Junior says something. He calls Ray pretty boy or something like that. And there's a sequence of a uh, Ray like walking up all heroic, and he punches him. <laughs> He's like, take a nap, pal. And it looks, <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious how it looks, man. It's like, dude. <laughs> but, dude, this was, like, pretty intense. Yeah. And you could tell they're probably in it. They're probably in the RV with the lights out around them in a studio. And mm -hmm. you could tell people are probably on the outside shaking the RV while what you call is driving. You know what I mean? But it, it was that... It, yeah, it works, man. So we so here we have the digital effects thrown in, and then again mixed with stop motion. Yep, we had some great stop motion here, and dude, it was like pretty intense, man, because they were yeah. running over mosquitoes. Mosquitoes mm -hmm. were trying to take out the tires, stabbing Mosqu through. I think they were stabbing through the, the top. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it, like, and 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 like I was saying earlier, it wasn't just. You know, oh, we're shooting at air. We're shooting at CGI. Like, no, the mm -hmm. practical effects creatures were blowing up and getting yeah. shot, yep. which made it more intense and fun. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what I mean? 
It's not Birdemic, where it's the same animation over and over. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, dude, when she kicked him in the nuts. The way he looked. <laughs> Gunner has his face. Yeah. Usually in the movies, when someone gets kicked in the nuts, they're like, oh, and they fall over, right? He was just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. No it, it emotion. Was like it, it was like it knocked him out in a way. Or yeah, like, and then he just fell down. Like. Yeah. I was dying. Well, yeah, his uh, his brother almost got it. Uh, or excuse me, his cousin almost got it in there. Uh, but but yeah, man, like, dude, it was very entertaining. Yeah. Like, action, shooting. And it was a lengthy scene, too. Mm-hmm. It was pretty lengthy, but it was like, it was, it was a good length. Yeah. Like you're feeling like you're getting your money's worth length. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know? 100%. And here, here's something that's uh, going to trip you out. Right here, I thought this was a pretty awesome stunt where this thing uh, tips over and kind of goes on its wheels for a while and mm-hmm. then finally tips over completely. Well, guess what, Reggie? Hmm. That's a model. Was it? <laughs> I found out that that's actually a model, but it was so well done. Wow, I, I had no idea. I thought it was yeah. I, thought I flipped a real RV. It yeah, saved it's, the budget it was, right there. It was so well done. You didn't even notice, unlike the bad CGI truck that fl- that flips over in the new Resident Evil movie coming out. Dude, <laughs> when we watched that, I was like, "Man, come on!" That looks like something from the video game. Like, actually, the, they could have used that in the game instead. Like, the old one. <laughs> but you know, you got this cheap, low-budget movie that pulls it off. You know what I mean? And here, here it is, right here. So, right here. Um, this is where, uh, was, you said it was uh, Eric or what would you say his name was? Junior. That's Junior trying to get the money, I think, or I he, forgot he what he went was back, doing. Yeah, he went back to get the money, but, uh, they, the mosquitoes got to him. Now you see the trailer right there tipped over? Yeah. That's just, that's just, um, a painted, uh, uh, wall. That's all that is. <laughs> it's just drywall wow. painted. Oh my God. Wow. Right. And then when you see the rest of the trailer, mm-hmm. it's just matte painting of the model flipped over. And they put it together. Well done. See? Like yeah. little things like that. You can go, oh. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> You're like, all right. Good job. Yeah, yeah. But uh yeah, poor Junior. And uh, it was now is this your favorite death in the movie? What's your what's your favorite death? The one in the eye was dope, but this one's definitely one of the best deaths in the movie. See, the thing about, I think about the Junior's death is that uh, it's hard to judge it because I actually like Junior because he was so goofy and everything like that. So uh, that means I have like a little attachment to him. So I'm kind of bummed okay. out he got killed. I would say my favorite death, though. Just kill-wise. Entertainment-wise. I, I, I'm going to go with Hendrix. I'm sorry. Even oh, though okay. Show, yeah, because he, he was – because you think about this one. Hendrix was the one trying to get away from everything. He was trying to get out of there, and he's the one that gets killed out of everybody. It's like, dang, you know. I think Hendrix was the one. Poor, poor Hendrix, poor guy. I mean, and you, you ever saw you what were... happened after he fell? Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming because the house blew up, you know, and everything yeah. like that. So yeah. you know, did he? It'd be crazy if he made it, but um, you yeah, know, maybe we'll leave his status unknown. I don't know. I think he's dead. <laughs> oh man, but yeah. Uh, doesn't go well. They 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 start stabbing and sucking uh. the shit out of Junior. Yeah, they go. <laughs> it's total recall. Okay, it's Arnold Arnold Schwarzenegger on Mars. I changed my mind, man. I'm gonna go with Junior's death. That's the best one. <laughs> well, especially eyes, eyes pop it out like. Yeah, oh. here we go. Boop. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, they just flung out. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, you got you to go with that. Oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, we even had a little, the movie kind of slows down after that. And, yeah, uh, it, it slows yeah, down. Go ahead and take it from there. It slows down when the RV crashes and everything like that. They notice they don't have any wheels anymore, so the mosquitoes are still after them. So they go to the sewer, and they're in the sewer. They're safe in there. And that's, I mean, it's like the nicest looking sewer ever, too. It's, like, really weird. <laughs> And um, they all bunch around like kind of like a campfire in a way. They have lighters, I think it was, or something like that. And they all start introducing yeah. themselves, themselves to each other, kind of. Yeah. They start talking about the mosquitoes and what they're going to do and how they're going to get out of there and whatever like that. They got to wait till morning, pretty much. I thought that was one of the coolest scenes in the movie, too, because everybody's just kind of like taking a break, finally, from all of what's happened and everything like yeah. that. So from that point on, they get out of the sewer. 
it's at morning time, of course. Mosquitoes are gone, so it's safe to but come it got out a little, now. It got a little intense for a minute there it while did. they were in the sewer. He got a lighter. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, the, the sewer scene was crazy because they were the mosquitoes were like scurrying through the, the, those little tunnels right there, and they had to take them out before they got close to them. But it was like how they were, how fast they were moving was pretty insane. That was a good action scene. I totally yeah. forgot to mention because you get to come from all angles. They were so they were. It was kind of like they had like a like they had to like cover each end to like stop them from coming in because they were coming fast. But they stopped them, thankfully, and that's when they got to take their break where they could talk to each other. Um, but yeah, and, from, and from that point on, uh, they had to wait till morning, and they saw the aftermath. You know, Earl saw his brother Junior and everything like that. And the funniest scene happens too. Park grabs his little detector. He goes up to Junior's body. He said, "Hey, these things have been making these people's bodies radioactive." And he saw like close to it and everything like that. And they're like, dude, why are you close to something that's radioactive or whatever like that? And then Earl <laughs> immediately jumps up like, oh, because he's like trying to, like, he's, he's kind of like, like, like not consoling his, his dead brother or cousin, but it's just like he's just paying his respects. But as soon as he found yeah. out it was radioactive, he, the way he jumped up, it was like so funny how he did it. It's, yeah. it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> 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 oh, and, man. And from that part on, uh, from that part on, they start walking. And they're trying to find a way out of there, and they find found find a house. The house yeah. is very reminiscent to something. I'm not gonna say like cabin, the cabin of Evil Dead, but it's like um, I don't know yeah. what I, how I would describe it. It's just like a some old farmhouse, not a farmhouse, but you know, like a house in the middle of nowhere, I guess. Like night, like Night of the Living Dead house. Yeah, that's the perfect example of it. Yeah, yeah you could say yeah, because yeah. the the finale of the movie kind of reminded me a little bit of Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, instead of zombies breaking in, you had the the, the mosquitoes. You know. Break it. Yeah. It's still fun though. Definitely still fun. I mean, uh, oh, oh, for the ladies. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, look at Gunner t- pulling out the luscious locks here for the ladies, man. <laughs> you know what's funny? You know what's funny about this GIF? Is that it's a GIF. <laughs> I tried to find a whole bunch of gifs right. of mosquito, and I barely found any, any at all. And that was but the one that popped up. This was the one that I could find everywhere. Uh, oh, oh, good old, good old Gunner Hansen there. Yep. Uh, but yeah, uh, just little things were making me laugh in this movie, man. Like them boarding up the windows were like terrible. That's like the worst boarded up windows ever like, yeah. that would have not held back the mosquitoes those little planks yeah it, they're that, like barely yeah barely like tap it on a list like it was like dude what the heck is going on <laughs> and then like when it came to checking the basement which looked like the scared the worst area which yeah. actually ended up being like the worst area yeah they said, they said hendrix check the basement you didn't yeah. check it properly and you know yeah. um that's where the movie kind of makes another turn they got another break, obviously, when they got to the cabin. I mean, to the house because they got another break to talk with each other. They even be, somewhat became friends with Earl, you know, even though Earl was their enemy yeah. at first. You know, Earl, yeah. you know, calmed down and you know, and he grabbed yeah. that chainsaw. Remember that that scene? There's something epic about that scene. Him oh. holding that chainsaw. Um, yeah, man. And it played just like get... its own theme and everything. I know, I know. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get to it. So uh, mosquitoes show up. It's not good. And again, uh, some of these some of these mosquitoes are actually hand drawn. <laughs> it's actually hand drawn animation, wow. which is pretty crazy, man. So they 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 pulled off all the tricks to make the movie work, which was fun. But yeah, let's talk about your scene. So they all arming up. It's time to defend the fort, mm-hmm. the house. Mm-hmm. And uh, Gunnar Hansen comes back out and some fan service here. Booyakasha! Holy <laughs> shit! Look at that beauty. Yeah. And you got to love the line. You remember what he says? What did he say? He I... says, I haven't, hold, I haven't held one of these in 20 years. He's all, feels good. <laughs> Wait a minute. The movie came out in 94. So 20 yeah. years. Chainsaw Massacre came out in 74. <clears throat> the original. So yeah. I think so. Like, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Directly I know. related. That was, okay. his, that was his for the fans. And of course, you know, come on now. Splatter. Splatter. Mm-hmm. Bugs everywhere. Took out some bugs. A lot of fun. You know, he had to cut them down. And yeah. even your boy Hendrix, man, he got stabbed in the leg, but, you know, he was still fighting his, back, doing his thing until yeah. his unfortunate demise later. His death is, like, kind of funny in a way, man. Like, he's kind of <laughs> laughing at the same time. Because he like, he's like, what? 
No! No! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That they had three minutes to get out. So this is the plan, guys. So hold on, let's get to the let's get to the carnage here. So yeah, some fun, you know, definitely some fun moments of action, uh, guts, splatters, you know, violence. We got some great shit here. Definitely some good stuff uh, for our finale. <laughs> I know, right? And here ag- again, here's a shot of this is like not CGI. This is a real practical effect creature. And it still holds up, man. Mm-hmm. You know, the practical creatures still hold up in this movie. You know, some of them get set on fire. I mean, it's it, we're all over the place here. But it discover what you discover is, uh, obviously, this was an homage to Alien, of course. Uh, but yeah, the the whole hive of mosquitoes is right underneath the house. Yeah, in the basement. So they're like, "Fuck, we got to get out of here." <laughs> so your boy here, go ahead and talk about the plan uh, he came up with, which is like one of the most insane plans. But yeah, he he basically uh, <laughs> wanted to lead the mosquitoes inside the house and pretty much blow them up. And, yeah, um, <laughs> it, it, it it's like I mean, even even when I first watched this, I thought that that was going to be insane. Like, what the heck is going on here? Um, but. That was his plan, and that's where the kind of movie kind of like not the movie didn't fall apart. Their plan fell apart from that point on to me, because it just I don't know, man. It just didn't sound right. And, it um, sounded like uh, we got to figure out a way to end the movie. <laughs> pretty much, like, <laughs> like it's kind of like they were still writing the movie at that yeah. point, and they were adding yeah, stuff in. Yeah. And, yeah. So they let all the mosquitoes in, and then they barricaded themselves in this one room. And what do you call that thing that they're sitting in and they, uh, they the pulley I waiter or something, a waiter or something yeah. like that? Yeah, and it was that thing was so slow as fuck. I was like, man, it's like three minutes. There's no, this is taking too long. And then the heavy, the, the heaviest people went first, which is kind of funny. Yeah. No, no, actually, Meg went first, and then I don't know. Well, no, she no, went I'll, first. She went and first, then, and then Ray think, went. Then Ray. Then I think it was uh, Parks. And then yes. um, no, Junior, Hendrix. Hendrix and then, went, like, then it broke. <laughs> Oh, then it broke. Okay, when Hendrix. Okay, wow, yeah. that's right. Yeah. And Hendrix, yeah, I, that death is funny, man. So I mean, we don't know if he's dead, but come on. <laughs> but Ray's like giving the thumbs up and doing dialogue. I'm like, you got three minutes. Hey, see you on the outside, Doc. Get a, get out of there, Ray. But yeah, poor Hendrix goes up there, gets pulled up, and then it breaks, and he falls all the way down the basement. There's a scene. Oh my god, the scene is so funny. So I, I'm pretty sure you recognize scene. So the scene. Was when uh, Parks was in the room by himself, and he saw like the mosquitoes were trying to get him. He's the only one in. There. They start stabbing yeah. through the wall, and they're, sh- they're showing this montage of his face, like looking around, like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh. And then they show the mosquitoes stabbing through, and he's flipping out. It's, that scene is so <laughs> funny to me, man. It's like it's so sweet, horrible, like scary, but it just made me laugh because it's just <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. It's cool. It's because of the camera angles, like right there. Yeah, I'll zoom it on his face, and, and yeah. it zooms in, and it shows. Yeah. It's great. And then he got... tries to he tries to pull the Dutch from Predator after that. You know, he's like, "Come on, get me!" You know, I was like, you know, for a second I actually thought he was going to die. Come and get me! Yeah, Come on, get me! <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> I actually thought he was going to die. Uh, yeah. But uh, I don't know. Maybe this movie inspired uh, Indiana Jones and in, uh, it was it the Crystal Skull movie because he got in the refrigerator when the house blew up and uh, he survived the blast of the house. And he came out the refrigerator. That scene, That's right. to, still to this day, just like wow, like like Indiana Jones, like you know, you know if that really happened to him. That he would have been soup if that that door opened oh. up. Like it would. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I, this is more believable because I think um, it's not like a this big nuclear like <laughs> yeah. explosion. Yeah, you know whatever like that. Um, do it but, again. Do it again. Come and get me. Yo, and look at the scene. I wish we had that scene. Like he said, come on, come on, come and get me. Come on. <laughs> Get me! <laughs> <I like> to... <laughs> but I actually thought he was gonna die. What what tripped me out though was I was not expecting this dude. He was like leader of the criminals and shit. Mm-hmm. This dude went down there to try to rescue Hendrix. Yeah, I did not expect that. He's like, I'm going down there to save your friend. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. But I, then I it's guess... like. It's like fuck it. He can, like the thing is broke. It's not like they're gonna get Gunnar Hansen, Gunnar, Gunnar Hansen's big butt up there. And it was sad you know? too, man, because like when you saw like him fighting 
the mosquitoes and yeah. you see the chainsaw like fall out of his hand and you're like, oh no. And you just, yeah. you know, at that point, like he's out of there too. And I'm like, dang man, because he, his, his character is really likable, even though they're the yeah. bad guys in the beginning, you know, it's yeah. a fun character, but um, yeah. it just well, I mean, shows you. I mean, how are you going to hate, how are you going to hate a guy with locks like this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I was kind of surprised. He kind of redeemed his character and went down there to try to save uh, uh, mm-hmm. Hendrix. Uh, but yeah, chainsaw fell out, sparked the house. They filled the house full of gas so it don't blow up. What you think of that explosion? It was good for its budget. The practical effects was good. Mm-hmm. Like the actual house, they actually blew up. Um, uh, I think a model. Okay, that was that was good. But of course, you know we gotta. I, I'm thinking of the part where they, yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> thinking, oh, they read, it's like, what are they looking at, dude? Like, look at, look at. His face like <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, oh my thumbs God, up. Dude. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for Mosquito Mad. But uh yeah. Uh explosion. Parks lives. They all live and uh all the uh other mosquitoes die. You know, I'm surprised they didn't do the do the trope. The classic mm-hmm. monster movie trope where one still alive. There's one still. There's one more egg down there, still alive. Uh, but yeah, dude, this is probably one of the best, most entertaining B movies I've seen in a long time. Unfortunately, the Blu-ray is like thirty something dollars. I'm like, yikes. <laughs> it was actually worse than that. Um, a freaking um. Really? The DVD was like worth like almost up to two hundred dollars at one point because it was out of print. Oh my it's God. one of the first early DVDs that came out, like back when DVD oh, players that shit. came out. So it's like yeah. one of those releases. Um, oh, that, I guess that makes sense. That still sucks, though. I don't think it's like one of those DVDs that had like any special features on it. It just had like scene selection and, and yeah. like start the movie pretty much. But um, <laughs> special features is the trailer. Yeah, yeah, That's pretty it. much. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's like a 20th anniversary edi- re- Blu-ray release for, uh, by Synapse Films. I'm not mm-hmm. sure, but it's got special Thirty features bucks, on huh? there. Yeah, it sucks. It I depends what's on there. It. I wouldn't mind buying it if it was cheaper because it was definitely. Uh, You're thinking around probably like fifteen, eighteen dollars yeah. range. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Joel. Oh my God, Is Joel! Joel, Joel Valley. Joel from Media Glitch in the house. What's going on, brother? This guy, there you go. Man. Joel, I, 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 every time I post stuff, everyone should see it. <laughs> Come on, man. I like scheduled this, what, Sunday? Joel man. was too injured anyways, man. After he saw Halloween uh, kills, he was like, <laughs> dude, like, he lost sleep, dude. He's like, <laughs> he's still recovering. So, <laughs> I was laughing at Joel's comment, man. You, your comment was funny, too. You know, Here, here's the thing, though, is I found Halloween Kills to be entertaining for what it is. But here's the thing. You're not going to see me defend Halloween Kills. <laughs> there you go. So if other people, I'm like, hey, it was entertaining. I liked it. You know, it's fine. But I'm not going to be like, no, man. It was five movie. stars, man. You know, you guys are wrong. I'm not going to get I'm not going to get an argument or waste my energy defending nope. Halloween Kills. Was I entertained by it? Yeah. So, oh, man. But, uh, yeah, man, Mosquito was fun. I don't want to keep you too much because I know you got to go. Uh, just for fun, I, of course, did a poll, and I put there, uh, is it really that bad? Uh, 36% or 35%, I forgot which one it was. It's just 1% above or lower. It's okay. Mm-hmm. If we got it wrong, it's fine. <laughs> is it really as bad as 35% out of 100? Reggie? Not at all. It should be no. higher. Right? Yeah. I mean that's I mean, even for a B movie, come on now. Thirty five percent out of out of a hundred. That's that's it is not that bad. It is not that low in my opinion. This movie deserves to be up to the sixty five to seventy five percent in my opinion. I give it um, sixty, certified fresh. I enjoyed it. There you go. You know, mm-hmm. so you could definitely take something out of this movie. <clears throat> you know, so Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but I did a poll here. Deceive the internet. I was like, oh, God, they're going to destroy it. They're going to vote yes. This is that bad. Mm-hmm. But let's see. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. More people voted no. It's not as bad or as low as 35%. Right on. Yeah. Okay. Good yeah. people. That's all. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just, I don't know. It's funny. If you know what you're getting into, you, you should be able to understand it. I mean, I came across some IMDb reviews. 
Yeah, right. it's cool if you guys don't like it. It's fine. Uh, but some of the IMDb reviews were like, like, oh my God, these special effects are horrible. One out of ten. I was like, oh, you totally missed the point of the movie mm-hmm. and what they were trying to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it was a low-budget movie. <laughs> 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 but that's the thing. You know, me and Reggie, we give films, we give movies a chance, right? Whether it be yep. a micro-budget or yep. big-budget, doesn't matter. We'll still give it a shot, you know. Because I've seen many, many micro-budget, low-budget movies. Mm-hmm. And... When you when you when you when you when you go into it, okay, okay, all right, it's a micro budget movie. Let's see if it entertains me at least. As long as you're entertained by the end of the day, end of the day that's all that matters, right? Yes, yes. You know, and people, critics will will review will watch this movie and go, well, you know, pff, it's no Citizen Kane. You know, it's like stop comparing shit. <laughs> you gotta review movies within the genre they're representing, and I've mm-hmm. always I will say that as long as this channel's up on YouTube, you know you can't review a low budget western and try and you're you're comparing that to Tombstone, mm-hmm. or you're comparing that to The Good and the Bad and the Ugly or Once Upon a Time in the West. That's not how you should do it, you know. Yeah. Uh, but you know everybody's different to each his own. Uh, but yeah, man, this was fun. Uh, thanks for. Giving me the Radical Reggie recommendation. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. This was fun, man. Oh, I, oh, Joel's <laughs> never seen it either. Oh, you should watch it, Joel. And He's also, <laughs> another re- recommendation for you. We talked about this before. Okay. You got to watch Lady Terminator soon. Uh, that All is, right. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling. Uh, we'll be doing another video in the future. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, shout out to Joel uh, with Beautiful Prison. That's right. There you go. That was another en- entertaining fa- uh, flick. I enjoyed that as well. Uh, but yeah, you know, this was fun, man. It's it's a fun B flick. I was entertained mm-hmm. at the end of the day. And I think the people making the movie, that's all they want from their audience. Right. Was to be entertained. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they were trying to win Oscar when they <laughs> made no. Mosquito, a.k.a. Blood Fever, a.k.a. Night of the Swarm. All right, now, Samurai's Guy got a recommendation for you, Reggie. i only seen this once. Now, we don't have to do a video on it, but mm-hmm. unless you want to, but we don't have to. But uh, you, Since you recommended a bug flick, I'm going to recommend a bug flick for you. Uh-oh. Uh, 2009's Infestation. Have you seen this? Oh, no. I don't think I got... <laughs> I, can't, I don't think I want to watch this. Oh, my no, God. No, it's fun. It's fun. It? Yeah. No, this is not a dare recommendation, Reggie. Like, this okay. is actually fun. It's actually right. fun. Yeah, check it out. I never even heard of it, and then uh, people were telling me it was good, and so I gave okay. it a shot. It's fun, man. It's hilarious. Oh, you'll right you'll enjoy it. Okay. Look at this shot right here. Here you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's some hilarious. Look at that shot. Come on, man. It's a, yeah. it's funny. It's funny, man. You'll like it. Okay. You'll like it. But yeah, check that one out. But yeah, we ain't got to do no video on it. But yeah, check it out. <laughs> bug recommendation to, for a bug recommendation. Oh man, but this was a blast. This was a lot of fun. I know you got to go. Thanks for hanging out with with the old samurai guy. Y'all know what you need to do if you haven't already. Subscribe to Radical Reggie's son. That's right. And check out. His newest video he uploaded recently, uh, today, on his little clip of Lady Terminator. And uh, it will wet your whistle. That's right. <laughs> Samurai guy is sold. I'm sold. After watching the clip Reggie posted, I'm sold. I'm going to watch it. We're going to talk about it because we have to spread the word. Because I'm like, I'm already there. But yeah, Lady <laughs> Terminator looks like a, a blast. Uh, thanks again, Reggie, for hanging out. And uh, quickly, a uh, reminder for all you badasses, tomorrow, if you're up early, uh, 11 a.m. We're keeping it horror movie related this week. That's right. 11 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. Join me and horror, fellow horror film lover and rapper slash actor Cryptic Soul hanging out with Samurai Guy. But our special guest is Patricia Tallman. That's right. From oh. Night of the Living Dead and Army of motherfucking darkness. That's right. So if you guys want to hang out with us, she's our guest tomorrow at 11 a.m. 
and uh, we're gonna have fun talking with her. Yeah, and she's she was badass. Army of Darkness. Yeah, she, yeah, she's the she's the witch the, by the cauldron. You will die, and they have the fight, and then she shows up again and and S Mart, and they have the fight at the end. Oh yeah, wow, that's her, okay. man. Yeah, she's a badass stunt woman as well. She does stunts and everything. She's 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 dope, man. So she's gonna wow. be hanging out with Samurai Guy tomorrow. So make sure you guys are there. And uh, versus is gonna be fun this week. If you're a channel member, uh, you will you will know what this week is. And uh, Reggie, it sucks we can't have you, but we get you on a future one. Uh, but we're doing. I'll 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 wet your whistle with this. For this week, we're doing three movies. It's a three movie showdown. This Thursday, that's right. So stay good. tuned, guys. It's going to be good. It's going to be badass. And uh, that's right. Joel will be there. That's right, to represent. Shout out right to on. Media Glitch, man. That's how, we, that's how we roll. All right, guys. See you guys next time. Keep watching horror movies. That's right. I want to know in the comments below, or, you know, next time, or in chat. I'm about to end it right now. You can't let me know now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know for Halloween weekend. What horror movies you guys gonna be binge watching? I want to know the list. I want the I want the list because mm -hmm. I want to check out what you guys are watching. So keep watching horror movies, having a blast, hanging out with my brother Reggie, and we see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Peace. Blood fever.